This is Banjo, today I'm going over crosswind landing in the Focke-Wulf 190. This example, I have a 10 meter crosswind coming from the right side of this airbase. The first things I'll do is set my throttle and adjust my flap so I can keep my airspeed ideal on final. I like to take it down to about 220 kilometers before I transition for landing. I like to do what's referred to as crabbing the aircraft, where I throw the nose into the wind using the rudder, and I track the center line of the runway using my aileron input. This also has the benefit of increasing drag on the airframe, which will also help you lose airspeed if need be. At this point, I'll maintain forward flight, tracking the center line of the runway using my aileron control, keeping the nose into the wind using my rudder, all the way up until the threshold of the runway, at which point I'll kick the nose back into forward-oriented flight. At this point, it becomes a matter of using aileron control to dip the upwind wing into the wind, as to land on the upwind main gear first, at which point the aircraft will settle down onto the downwind main gear. During this whole process, use rudder input to keep the nose aligned with the center line of the runway. In this example, we can see I'm a bit off to the left side of the center line. So as I sit down, I'll be sure to hold the rudder to correct for this. Next, we'll view this from the third person perspective of the track I saved while recording the landing. And we can see as I kick out back into forward oriented flight and begin to dip my right wing, my upwind wing, into the wind as to land on the upwind main gear. And though my sink rate is slightly too high, generating a slight bounce, I managed to set her down gently. And finally, I have a second example that I recorded during the second crosswind landing under the same conditions in this case. I dip my right wing, try and land on the upwind main gear first, although in this point it's a three-point landing. The process is the same, simply maintain center line using rudder control and wheel brakes if needed. And finally, we'll view this one more time from the third-person perspective of the track I recorded during the landing. The points to remember is if you see the aircraft moving around the center line, use aileron. If you see the nose moving around the center line, use rudder control.